Hi, my name is Gemma and I'm a personal trainer at The Waterside and today I'm going to talk you through a core workout. Let's get started. So we're going to start in a plank position first of all, one of my favourite exercises in a core session. So there's three levels that you can do this. First level will be to come on two knees. Now you see a lot of people almost doing a tabletop position, but in order to really feel the benefit on your core, you want to push those hips forward a little bit. So bring those shoulder blades back and together, push the hips through and forward, and you should really feel that core start to burn up. You wanna hold this here for 30 seconds, if this is the level that you're at. If you wanna make it a bit harder, up onto your toes, squeezing your bum, squeezing your core, keeping a nice straight line from your back down to your feet, back nice and straight. So you want to make sure those hips are down and together. This is level two, if you want to take it here for 30 seconds. Level three, if you want a challenge, you can start walking your hands out and extending the plank, walking them back in. And this will really, really fire up your core. You want to try and keep your hips nice and still while you're doing it. Another staple in my core exercises is what's called a dead bug. So two levels for this one. You want to come onto your back. You want to really suck your core in so your back is nice and flat against the floor. Bring your feet up to about a 90 degree angle and your arms up nice and straight. Now this is going to take some coordination. I always get it wrong. But right arm is going to go back nice and straight and then you're going to straighten your left leg and lower it down to the floor. So all the time, you're sucking that belly into the floor so that your lower back is not arching. And you're working the core rather than getting any lower back pain. So that's really important, really focus, keeping that lower back nice and flat to the floor. Take your time with this. Extending out. And in total, you want to do 20 reps, 10 on each side. If this is a little bit too much for you, you can bring your hands down to the ground. Again, sucking that core in so your back's nice and flat. And you can take your toes down to the ground. Just touch lightly, bring it back up. Again, back up. So little tiny toe taps. And you should feel that. In your core rather than your hip flexors if you are sucking that stomach into the floor. 20 of those as well. So for your third exercise we're going to do little reach arounds. Level one and sit up. So this is the easiest level. So again sucking that core in, shoulders just slightly left the mat. You're going to reach round, touch the side of your foot, reach round the other side, touch the side of your foot, and then a little crunch upwards. Okay. So reaching round, touch the side of your foot. And again. And then you sit up. I'll show you two more. If you want a bit more of a challenge, sit that core in. You're going to bring your legs up, back nice and flat to the floor. Slowly lower those legs down. Tiny tap on the floor. Hands behind the head. Little tap of the elbow. Hands on the floor. And raise those legs up. So slowly lowering down. Little tap on the floor. Hands behind the head. Slowly lowering up. So on the way down, nice big exhale. As you're lowering the legs. Hands behind the head. Slowly raise it back up. And that will really get your core burning. So the final exercise will be some in and outs. Um, and you're going to do 12 of these. 
So level one, the easiest is if you keep your hands on the floor, bring those legs up. You want to extend the legs out, lean back slightly, bring those up, knees in. So push it out. Okay, one more. If you want a little extra challenge, then take those hands off the floor, bring them to your sides, legs out, in. So exactly the same movement, just you've obviously not got the stability of your hands helping. There you have it, good luck.